I'm gonna install Windows 7 from the Pixie Boot or the network on this laptop and see if it works or not. Right now it got the IP address, so we're gonna go down to Windows 7, click and see. Windows is loading file, so I'm gonna try to make this video under 10 minutes. So I don't have to stitch it, so I'm gonna be pausing this video a lot. There. So for the Pixie Boot, uh, I should have shown you uh, how to go there um, to the BIOS and do the settings so you can network install it. But it's pretty damn simple. Uh, uh, all you have to do is just go into your BIOS first, enable network boot BIOS, enable network uh, adapter, and then go and select the network uh, adapter as the first choice. Right now, this one is basically asking us for a password for um, uh, username and password that has the right to over there. It can be any user. Uh, if you remember, we had from the previous videos. When we're setting up server, uh, we give everyone read and uh, read and write access. So all we have to do is just put win ten slash the a username. So basically, we had to put win ten because that we are using um, we are logging as a local user. But if you if you have a standalone machine, then you don't have to put. Uh, uh, mach machine name you can simply put uh, uh, Usman or your n username uh, actually let's try this if I put Usman and I give it his password let me I'm gonna uh, pass the video put, type in the password and then resume All right, so the wind is back. Oh no, I should have changed that. Should have changed that. No, I should have. Okay, so basically it copied all the, um, um, let's say, files and it went back to the, uh, so it, it actually restarted and went back straight for the, um, it went back straight uh, to get the, to boot from the network so we have to go change the setting back to uh, in the bias change the setting from network to CD or uh, not CD R disk for that we're gonna press it says FN nothing we don't want to install like boot again so let's see if control alt and delete works nope so we have to shut it down and change the setting in the uh, bias now this time that we have to boot it from the hardest so it does not keep uh, copying the files over and over again no I think I saw the option uh, for like Windows something. Let's see, escape and F12 by setup F10. Let's do that. Now we're gonna go to system configuration, boot option, 
we're gonna change it you see right here we can either disable it that if we disable it it automatically gonna check out everything else but I want to put the internal hard drive as the top one that is F6 take it all the way up and should be F10 F10 save and exit pretty well now let's see if it boosts from the hard disk 